Okay, so this is going to be your answer sheet. So the first thing that you want to notice from part B is going to be which two columns are exactly the same. So hopefully you notice that A times B, this column here, I'm going to make this fatter here. So A times B and the greatest common factor times the least common multiple are all the same, right there. Okay, that's the first thing that I want you to notice because you actually do need to know this, right? So now when we're going to C, we're using the information from this chart to write an equation where the answer is going to equal the lowest common multiple. And we need to use these headers up here in order to do that. So if these are the same and I want to end up with the lowest common multiple as the answer, I can say that A times B and then so in order to get this answer, I multiplied um, the greatest common factor and the least common multiple together. So if I divide the A times B, notice I'm putting the brackets in there so that we know uh, that we have to do this part first. So divide by the greatest common factor, we will end up with the lowest common multiple as the answer. So what we originally said was A times B is equal to the greatest common factor times the lowest common multiple. So if these are equal to each other, if I move the equation around, right? So this is multiplication. And if I am going to get it over to this side. We're gonna talk about more of this when we hit algebra. I'm gonna divide, you have to divide greatest common factor here. And then we'll end up with the least common multiple here. So that's just two different ways of looking at it. Okay, so that was C. And now we're gonna have a look at D here. So um, when the product of A and B, so when A times B is the same as the lowest common multiple, so the, the answer to A and B is going to equal the lowest common multiple, right? Because that's what happens here and here. So let me just highlight that here. We'll do like a purple highlight. So these are the same, these ones are the same, these ones are the same, these ones are the same, and I'm sure you're starting to see the trend. Now, for those ones, what is the greatest common multiple for each? Or greatest common factor, sorry, for each, and it's one. And so that would be the greatest common factor is always one. All right, that is your answer sheet.